all coming up. Now, reporter Ryan Tismaneski continues our team coverage. Ryan, you spoke with the, uh, a lung doctor, and he has an update on what he told you. Ted, the best advice is to minimize your time outdoors. I'm in the Southeast Valley right now. I'm just going to take a step to the side so you can just see how hazy it is right there. You can see the strip a little bit, but if you look, it's pretty hard to see the mountains around the Red Rock area right now. If you step out the door today, you may feel an itchy throat, teary eyes, or a burning nose. If you're affected by respiratory illnesses, the effects are stronger. Pulmonologist Dr. Pedro Hani says illnesses like asthma or bronchitis can be triggered by smoke. Particularly in children, adolescents, uh, it causes shortness of breath and cough and can precipitate an attack. If you aren't affected by respiratory illness, you may still feel allergy-like symptoms or even have difficulty concentrating due to fatigue. Over-the-counter allergy medicine can help. If you do need to step outside, Dr. Hani says you can fend off some of the effects of smoke by wearing a mask. Particularly when there are particulate materials, par particles, uh, can be, uh, the, the, the uh, amount of particles can be decreased by using a mask. Dr. Hani says a few days of smoke doesn't bring a high risk of getting sick down the road. I don't know that just a few days of pollution will cause long-term health consequences, but if the problem is continuous, is frequent throughout the year, yes. Dr. Hani also mentioned that today might not be the best day to take a trip to the casino since you'll be doubling up on smoke pollution. I'm going to send it back to you in the studio reporting live from the Southeast Valley. Ryan Tizmaneski, 8 News Now.